Sensory neural hearing loss occurs when the inner ear or the auditory nerve, the nerve responsible for hearing, does not work properly. This type of hearing loss is considered permanent. Let's take a closer look at sensory neural hearing loss in this video. For some children, the outer and middle parts of the ear work well, but the inner ear or the auditory nerve does not work properly. This is called sensory neural hearing loss. Usually, sensory neural hearing loss occurs when the hair cells in the cochlea are not working as they should. There are two types of these cells, outer hair cells and inner hair cells. The job of the outer hair cells is to make soft sounds louder inside the cochlea. The job of the inner hair cells is to convert the movement of fluid in the cochlea into electrical signals, which are then sent along the auditory nerve to the brain. When hair cells are damaged or missing, sound is not transmitted properly to the auditory nerve. This results in hearing loss. Some children with sensory neural hearing loss can also have damage to the auditory nerve. The degree of hearing loss will depend on how much the hair cells and the auditory nerve are affected. To give you an idea of what speech might sound like if your child has sensory neural hearing loss, we have prepared a hearing loss simulation. You will hear a sentence repeated four times. The first sentence is an example of how speech may sound for a child with severe to profound sensory neural hearing loss. The next two are examples of moderate and mild sensory neural hearing loss. The last sentence will sound as it does for someone with typical hearing. Note that these simulations are for demonstration purposes only. Your audiologist can talk to you about your child's hearing levels. It's cold outside. Can you please bring me your socks? It's cold outside. Can you please bring me your socks? If your child has sensory neural hearing loss, it is important to become involved with early services to support communication and language. Your healthcare team is available to support and guide you every step of the way. Parents tell us it is also very helpful to talk to other parents of children who are deaf or hard of hearing and to meet adults who have grown up deaf or hard of hearing. Your audiologist and early intervention team can help you make these connections.